of the stage for the very first time here in the ABL. The Sentinels in second leading the charge. We'll walk out to the cheers of the crowd. Uh, and there's that vibe, guys. Ellis is hyping up the crowd right away from the walkout. You love to see. As for the first time, we'll see them walk out here onto the stage with Monyet. A couple of sightings in the offseason thus far, but widely some show match shenanigans yeah. ready that we got. But for now, they are going to guess correctly, and it looks like a little bit of a fake here from something Zero as well. Already got that gate crash primed for mid. Let's we'll see how practice up Mind Freak Sova is. <laughs> well, when we saw Stack starting to bring it out, <laughs> it was definitely yeah. rough around the edges from time to time. But he's going to be kind of the most important person when it comes down to clearing out those trap wires with those shock darts. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely crucial. And we do see just a bit of movement over by B just to keep people fixed in place. And then something will be joining up. That's one of the biggest advantages that Yura has, of course, is the fast rotations even on attack. You can really sell that attack from one side to the other as the main duelist. Okay, Dart goes out, gonna get destroyed, doesn't find any pings here as they're playing well back away from the pier mids. Shock darts from Saucy to try and delay, just bouncing him around the corner. Second one will get a nasty Ooh. tag there on a Forsaken, Spike taking planted. him down to 32 HP. See everybody pretty much very low HP at the moment here on the side of Paper Rex, but they're looking for a full disconnect post plant. Yeah, Paper X, yeah, I love what Mind Freak is doing here because you know that you're going to need to go for the flank. Sentinels had all the time to prepare here for the retake. It's going to be a timing battle between Mind Freak and the rest of Sentinels. Zero point not catching anybody second. However, going to be able to take down something. Uh oh. Shots coming Shot through. Down. Cyber Cage to try to cut off this axis. They know that Mind Freak is going to be pushing through. John Cutie at the moment watching the angle gets the headshot. Mind Freak going to be taken down. Have the shock back over on the spike, delaying as much as possible to creep up though. Sasi gets himself tucked in, he's Divide. starting to defuse. They're trying to clear him out, but Moniet, he cannot get the kill, gets taken down with the covering fire, and the defuse will just come through Forsaken. Couldn't do anything. Defy will still be left standing, taken down at the end, finds himself a 3k. Sheriff's still being bought up here for Paper Rex. They want to push the agenda here in round two. Let's see how they reply here. This is going to be full sheriffs across the board. No armor in sight. So very much in danger of falling very quickly here to the weaponry that we see from Sentinels. With this gun just being that specter there in John Cutie's hand. The second going to be taken down. The Guardian does get a shot on the divide. Takes him to 35, but the headshot comes across. Man, you cannot Justice ever count out down. any of these members of Paper Rex. And Zell says he, yeah, he sees the extra tag. And he's like, OK, that's more than I bargained for. That was not the agent that we saw earlier. It's just gonna hide away. Now, Zelsus is a little separated. If he gets caught here, that's a free Bulldog upgrade going over to Paper Rex. Holding the close angle. Are they gonna be expecting this one? Something, checking for the spray. Does manage to, manage to find two, Whoa! gets the third. The last bullet from Zelsus taking out the already weak Divide. Still came through, but either way, excellently done here by Zelsus. who gets himself about halfway towards that pit. Ping. Catching something there for a brief little moment. Second wants to push all the way up here towards the half wall. I love the adjustment here from Sentinels here on. Oh, oh I think he's. Yeah, I think I think he should have spotted, spotted, spotted tail. It. Yeah, probably at least saw it on the menu map there, getting pinged out. So they know that Sentinels. They have an idea that Sentinels wanted some mid control. Sight. Quick shot, a dash away. A second, not wanting to overstay his welcome here with just the Guardian in hand. Can't try to go for any spray downs. Just backs off. Trap wire though, still set up here at the entry way, but kill is found. Mind freak taking down second. Got line of line of sight. Yeah, how do they deal with these trap wires though? Again, no KO, nothing else to break it. Uh, I mean, they're just gonna jump across it with the Omen for now. T-Ping forward, but the ping still getting a good amount of value here, spotting them out. Still the entryway though, but John Cutie and Sasuke are gonna be taken down in the meantime. Something wreaking havoc over in mid, managing to find himself two kills, and Moniet will be able to clean up tens. Live action. Well, there we go. Standing ahead. Nice and quick little issue taken care of. As up over the wall, Uzek is getting some nasty damage across on the divide, down to 5 HP. Yeah, but Zekka not overreaching for that either. I love the control there, just putting down damage. Knows that just by doing that, Sentinels has put the pressure on mid, and that Paper Rex will not be able to take that space for at least another 20, 30 seconds, and especially not you know, using you know, any more abilities. They'll have to invest more if they want to take that space. So Sentinels' movement seems very good, very controlled, and very practiced so far here on Breeze. Always good to see restraint. So doesn't get the kill, but may as well have. Dubai in a very similar situation compared to that second round. The playing drone Still could do some damage if given the opportunity, though. As the drone goes out, does spot tens over towards stairs, looking for a little bit more, but won't be able to catch much else. 
a huge zero point. Ties up everyone. They'll just have to walk right in. Oh, my does find Zelsis, but that will expire. He's going to be fine for the time being, but as the wall goes down, Zelsis swinging back around, keeps himself safe. He's just a smattering of damage there on the corner. Swings out on the back of the flash, but himself also flashed up just a little bit. Man, he can find a second kill, though. Mind freaking something. Both going to be taken down. Tens in the meantime, dropped. They find one forsaken, not ready for a second to swing the corner. Takes him out, and suddenly it's just money and Dubai. 30 HP between the two of them. Dubai just now getting ready to arrive through mid. Zelsis is pushing forward, Moniet, shutting him down, finds one, last Dubai, not game. getting the elimination now, is the last one standing! Takes Saucy down to half HP, but cannot finch the job. Sentinels off the back of the tech timeout, will be able to pick up a third round win. Man, I mean, just the practice here for Sentinels, and Zelsis, how did he stay alive for so long on site? Purchase here from the side of Paper Rex, but a Bulldog in the mix, half armors across the board for them. But for the most part, though, everybody able to afford their full utility, and now we can see something's going to be opening things up. The gate crash, getting the spot here. Knows the Viper is right in front, but John Cutie, oh, oh. as he tries to pop out, mows him down and also finds Forsaken. Oh. Celsius, still alive, what? he's unkillable! And now Divai, taken down. Snake by the try and delay, but the ping comes through. Moniet able to find him through that smoke. John Cutie up over the top, Moniet not reading it, gets caught. Three here for oh, the Cypher, and Tens will finish off the round. That's how, that's how you play Omen, right? Standard practice. Neural Theft is available though for Sentinels. Paper X, a multitude of ultimates to try to utilize, but just given the purchase coming into this round, unlikely that we see them invested. Maybe if they can get a couple kills and get the ball rolling towards a round win, we'll see some investment there. I mean, Paper X is not hiding the fact that they are wanting to take over mid, so I feel like this mid to be is fairly predictable. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know? You can just do that. Great headshot coming from Moniet. Opens things up. The Cypher gone. That's that Neural Theft, that one ultimate that you had to have some concerns. And Tens just picking the right target. He says, you know what? I play a lot of Yoru. Find something, but then Mind Freak swinging in from mid. Take him down through the tunnel. Saucy playing back. Sight. Two quick kills. Moniet and Dubai eliminated. And that is all the obfuscation, all the smokes taken away from them. Another one. Saucy. Quick on the trigger. Finds himself a third. And this is all just because of that backup timing here coming in for Sentinel. Saucy was so quick, not only with the arrow, but like you said, oh, he was already on sight. Uh-oh. Just barely missed each other, uh, but now he's swinging back around, and second will be able to finish the job. The, the cleanup crew coming through. Attack off on Yoru, now in play. Cam is set up, second just gonna be dashing away. Fun yet, quite fast enough to get through elbow to get a punish. Just gonna be pushing forward as tents, hovering outside here. The double doors. Oh, this is hard to predict, though. The, the double is hard to predict. Holds it down. Oh, tents. No. Find two quick kills. Flash for flash. Both gonna be blinded. For second, however, gonna be able to find his first kill, but he is so low on HP. Has to try to back away, but as he fades out, he gets the kill on the John Cutie. Dart through from Saucy. Does find its mark. Hunter's Fury now. Crashing across Saucy on the hunt, trying to nail him down, trying to get this elimination, but manages to avoid it. Now the site gonna be taken, but Zels is already in position. Wrapping through shop, getting himself pushed forward, and are they gonna be ready for this money yet? Just now pulling his weapon out, but he is not facing back. Flash comes oh, in, the now they know that he's there. Zels is, however, still managing to find one. Something with the Classic, able to finish the job, but now it's Forsaken with five HP. Something with an operator to try to hold down this spike plant. Yeah, Forsaken just needs to buy time here and just hope it's enough that something only needs one kill, because if he needs to get the double, it could get a little dicey. The shot dart doesn't hit. Something Forsaken stays alive. Last player standing. Now gets taken down. Saucy able to find him. Everything on something's operator. Can he deliver in this moment? It's just a quick little tap here, and as he oh. swings out, he's not ready for Zekin to be taking a forward position. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Hopium ass. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the Material ass. We kid, we kid. Zekin gonna be blinded. Out goes with a quick shot. He's narrowly missing that one. Fine Freak. Fortunate to be walking away with his life. Man, I think one thing you have to take away from this match, though, is sure, you know, Paper Race's composition, there's some ideas, but I, I feel like you're just getting hard countered across the board here by the traditional composition from Sentinels, right? You've got the KO there with the zero point. You've got the trap wires. It's just too much. Yeah. That, I think, just a bit of discomfort from, you know, the sides of Forsaken as well as something. Typically would be seeing these rolls a little bit inverted. Something sweet around the back. Oh, looks away from Zelsis, and that's enough time for him to pivot around. Finds that kill, but it's gonna be a one for one as money yet. Able to pick it up. He himself though, low, smoke expiring. Does get a clear out on that recon darts. The ping won't find him. Spike can now be planted, and pit is gonna be invested. Yeah, but this pit isn't the greatest either. It doesn't go all the way in. Well, yeah, 
They already find one. Spraying through tens, just fishing for something, looking for a connection. This Forsaken swings around the backs, trying to get the catch, and we'll be able to put tens down on the floor. Unlikely to be rezzed. As the approach comes through, John Cutie trying to get himself through a main. He managed to say. Get himself over onto the site. Pushing forward, just right behind Mind Freak, eventually does find him. It still stands out as he goes up onto the half wall. Gets taken down. Forsaken with three now, fallen. He goes and it all this. comes down to a 1v1. A classic, but a pit on the opposite side. Zekin cannot play for this one. They has to just let the spike go off. Paper X will be able to get themselves a second round win. All right. I mean, even though, obviously, cred-wise, Sentinels, they'll be okay. I think it's mostly they don't want to give away that operator. They know that it's something who actually bought it first. Behind me. That's still just having to stick with the half armors, which, quite frankly, on Breeze, that's probably where it hurts the most. Yeah. All these long-range battles. Second and again, off in hand, here before the wall coming up. He's got the dash, but it's going to be expiring soon. Oh, oh, and he gets the flick up the money yet. What a shot to take him down. Rolling Thunder crashing across, does get a hit on the two here. The knife's now going to be pulled. But they're not flooding onto the site fast enough. They're not taking space. The suns expire, the rotation's already beginning. Ten's waiting just under bridge. John Cutie, however, going to be taken down. A nice little catch coming through there from Dubai in mid. Something up over the top. A quick shot. Saucy will fall, but it's going to be a trade out of the sofas. A second puts those knives to use. Yeah, my eyes are on Zelsus right now because Dubai got one kill in mid, but do they suspect the second? And something does. He's got his back. The timing just a little bit off there. Something now into the ultimate, getting the spot. Dubai ready for it. One tap. Tens gets the kill, but now all on his lone swim in a 1v2. Gate forward. crash primed as well. He's got the fragment. He could clear oh. that one side. He gets the tank and oh, caught with a knife in hand. The timing. Sentinels, how do you adjust to it? You, you realize now if you just wait, you're going to be at a lot. Ooh. Oh, Zekin. The gun barrel showing something. Catches him through the head just on the corner. Look like he. If he had just held the angle rather than over pursuing for the Yoru, he should have been able to actually get the follow up swing from Mind Freak. But now, gets taken down. The operator going to be stranded. They don't. They might have the money. For one in the next round. We'll have to just wait and see, though, how things play out. Fault line into the back. John Kitty going to be stunned up for a moment. <laughs> Find one of the trap wires, and something does spot the Cypher. Time to jump. Something needs to stay yeah. alive here for as long as possible. Okay, he's just going to take the safe route out. And realizes there's too many Thompson's members, but already Devai in the entrance here doesn't spot anyone on stairs or the bridge, so he knows the site is clear. Sentinels, they're, they're pretty quick here, but I doubt they're going to flood the site. Surely they just wait for another retake, knowing that it's already been given up. And everybody is right here. They could just go for a really quick flood retake of this one. Forsaken still going to be hovering forward here. Sends in a flash. Playing for time for the time being. Gets pinged down. Fault line goes across. Gets the spot. Gets the headshot. Ten's going to be taken down. But John Cutie comes away with two. Saucy with one. A 2v2. Now a 1v2 is Mind Freak. Last one standing in the mirror. Oh. Theft reveals his location. No darts. No line of sight. Has to just try to rush forward, but he needs to get through John Cutie first, and he can't do it fast enough for Kenny. No! Just off by a second, and Saucy will also finish the job. It's just a huge two kills there from John Cutie. Fantastic shutdown. Start forward again. Second, looking to take some forward position here in mid. Orb comes up, something creeping along. Still got the decoy. Second, just go for the bait. Sends a shot, but not going to receive the blind, and actually does get a bullet through that. Smoke onto something. Yeah, something's been using these flashes fairly early on as well, just to try to get some control around, you know, around the map. But that does mean they don't have as much to hold against the retake post plan. Going through. Going back up. Bye. Trying to creep across. TP. One yet. Be moving up there in the hall. Doesn't cancel it, so still is going to be in that forward position. So he's going to be able to find any backstab damage here with that bulldog. Hunter's very goes across. John Cutie finding one. Celsius swinging the corner forward here at Pyramid. Comes up with another one. And already the shutdown is looking good here from Sentinels. Oh, the Hunter's Fury was so good. And Zelsus just kind of eating his teammates' Hunter's Fury to be able to swing out in time just as good as well. I, I mean, man, their, their plays are very clean and crisp. Enemy looking better and better every event. Continues to hold true. Second, finding Forsaken, Mind Freak. Just trying to play for some kills. Trying to get the Hunter's Fury a little bit closer for these last this last round, perhaps. I don't know. Either way, creeping forward. Doesn't have much time. Looks like we'll just be squatting in mid. Ten get seconds Get a kill left. if you can, and otherwise just hold on to the Bulldog. Yeah, I mean, you're at zero creds anyway, so... 
You know, your teammates can buy, you know, something with the half armors, but Mind Freak, he's going to want to hold on to that one. No! Oh, and he's found. Saucy approaching from Nest. Gets the catch. Last round before and Nothing will be retained. Paper X, the best they can hope for now. It's an eight and four half. Great catch. A backstab attempt from Moniet. Just not given the opportunity to really find anything. I mean, just look even in those couple highlights right there, just the angles they're holding off of each other. Again, being so aware of the pressure that Paper X continues to put on mid. I mean, we're down to the last round of the half, and Paper Rex, I think it just goes to show that they haven't they haven't been able to crack the code here against the defense of, you know, the Viper, the KO, and the trap wires from the Cypher. I mean, full swing around here through elbow yeah. at the moment from Paper Rex. So we'll leave two to try to linger back through B main. And trap wires could cause concern. Second, already sending out that off shot as a bit of a warning. The fault line will stun up onto a few. Stay stuck back by the box, and Saucy! Shutting down the approach, something's gone. Divide will be able to oh find second. Way. Jet now on the floor. John Cutie, however, still trying to anchor the site. It's gonna be good for one before falling, but Saucy is still Eight here. Points. It's a catch on the one. Spots the shoulder of another. Forsaken taken down as 10 sprays the wall, and now it is all on Devai. Swing oh. around, Zels is coming in from behind, and Divide not ready for it. Falls and Sentinels will get to the fuse and get themselves a nine and three half. Wow, what a showing from Sentinels off the bat. 9-3 half in the very first map of the opening match here at the AVL. Get ahead of that Sova ping coming yeah. through. Manages to get the catch on the second, is just not quite ready Standing for it. Ahead. Why clear the dart when you just kill the player that's trying to kill you? <laughs> and here's the op from something as well. We've seen that in times past with the Euros here on Breeze to great success. Poison's off. Shout out to Bazzi. Yep, shout out to Bazzi. Uh, but, uh, you know, it only works if they come to you, right? So, <laughs> currently that's not in the books. Which was Bazzi's problem. Yes. <laughs> DRX just knew exactly where he was every single round. But now it looks like, again, going to be pretty hefty on the B hit. Going to push forward, sends out a warning no shot, but nothing on. spotted. Second, however, tucked away here on site. Gets spotted, oh. Divide guns him down. Hunter's very crashing across, Sassi able to find him on yet. Going to be taken down at the same time as John Cutie finds a kill. Zels is on the lurk, catching Forsaken off guard. He still something. cannot use that ultimate. Something rushes forward, jumps out with the signature shorty. And gets the kill, bringing this now into a 1v2. Hero Theft comes across, something has to get himself out to safety. Tucked in behind the half wall for now. The pit now going to be invested. Hunter's Fury going across, just trying to hunt. Spike still not yet planted, but Mind Free coming up short. Doesn't manage to find any connections in Saucy at back sight. Peeks out, catches something unawares. Zels is on the lurk. Forsaken again, just getting caught. That Rolling Thunder that's been available for the last several rounds, just not being able to be utilized at all. Great work there from Zelsis on those lurks. Oh, mid control given up for free from Sentinel. So that definitely seems to have been an adjustment from the timeouts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bold. <laughs> Absolutely bold going for the second jiggle, but he gets more information. Not ready. The start can be taken. If second is knives, it looks like that's exactly who it's going to. As the drone comes through, gets the ping. Monyet has to back away. John Cutie in the meantime gonna be found something. Getting that kill over in mid. No, they can't come in now. They Flash have to is dissuade. They have to regain. Something is down to 5 HP, so very close to trading this one out. It's Forsaken going to get caught again. Celsius managing to find him in something, pushing forward in towards Sean. Ends up getting taken down, and suddenly the man advantage is here for Sentinels. Dubai, oh. he's trying to take a forward position oh, on this the one. The Flash, he tries to get ahead of this one, but can he break the corner? Gets himself out, holds on to a bite up over the top. Manages to spray down one, but cannot steady the aim to find Saucy. Left. Two players to swing out. Mind Freak trying to hold the line, but cannot. Gets taken down. Now it's all on Moniet. The 1v3 to clutch. Spike planted. 10 to 5 health. Zelsis at 85, but Zelsis still stands tall. Sentinels. Pass round. So now that Rolling Thunder is still available for Sagan, just not finding an opportunity to use it. Something spotted, just gonna gate crash out, but I think that actual follow up ping yeah. does reveal where he jumped back to. Neutral position, so not too much information gained for them. 
with the pit in play over at B. Seems like Sentinel's not wanting to try to push through this one. Given the drone's already used. Once again, we'll look to just try to take some space over here towards mid. John Cutie spotting Monyet. He's just making some shots him. his way, but I mean, this is double presence here. Over in Hain and Forsaken, oh. gun down, second on the swing. Oh, I love the adjustment as well. You know that the Viper's in the pit. You saw one peeking out of Tono. You saw Monyet already watching for a main. You knew the Euro teleported back. They kept all of that information in their brains oh. downloaded. Zels is tucked away once again, going on the no. lurk. Is it red? Yes. Woo! Mind Freak, great awareness. Is, yeah, I play some Viper as well. <laughs> Advantages to take him down. And that's going to be a weapon picked up from him, so does get the upgrade. Mind Freak, though, does end up falling, so upgrade now abandoned. 3v4. They need to clear a second before Devai can start swing out here. The map on the line. Devai able to find Zazie Patek in, holding at the half wall. Comes up with two. Dash reset. Devai not ready for the push up from John Cutie. And 13 to 7, Sentinels will take the opening map here of the AVL against Paper X. An absolutely huge win here for Sentinels. Of course, just the first map, but a great start. Coming all the way over around the globe here to Seoul, South Korea. The first time getting to play here in Valorant, and it's a great showing into it. But Jing went full all the way to back site here to Alley, so. I mean, they're backed off. Oh, okay. Oh, no. For a run into B site. Smoke sent across, trying to keep them from pushing forward past a lobby. But Paper Rex sights on a different spot. You see, the Angel's being used just to clear that trap wire. Heavy investment to be able to get rid of that util, but just given how critical those trap wires have been. Once. That's just the buy swinging in from mid, catching tens. He's got his attention paid over towards the B side. Ends up falling. Buy over now, ready for a second to come, crashing through. Does get caught. Looks like it may be in a bit of a rough spot, but no, does turn, finds John Cutie. Bring things back into parity. Paint shell sent forward, for taken backing away, keeps himself relatively safe. They're not covering behind them though. It's a little faster than they would assume, and I think right now their goal is just to wrap back around market. They want to stay focused on market given the plan. Sassi on that flag now gonna be noted. Sending out the flash, something even at range, able to take down Zekin with that Spectre. One Cleans him up, snappy shots from Forsaken. Gets rid of Sassi now suddenly Paper X. Looking very well poised to convert this bonus. No time to really work with here for Zelsis. Swaps the weapons, does get the headshot. Forsaken taken down, something last one standing, but there's just no time left. Something on the lurk, gonna look to try to get rid of that gun, and he will. Can he pick it up for himself? Paper Rice gonna look to slow things down with the Cypher setups. Yep. He's cutting off all these access points for any forward aggression coming through. Prowler will confirm Trapwire presence over at a lobby. This Jing getting darted for a brief little moment. I'm just going to be backing away. Backing away. Over the top, we'll get cleared out. There. Flash. Saucy again, ready with the Prowler. Sends it through, quick clear on that. Paranoia already being used for Paper X. They're going to want to try to go for these swings first if they want to enter this site safely. They're not getting the opening kill there from second. It does hurt them to push forward. Jink reading it, ready for it. Swings over the corner. Zelsus with the Classic will be able to take him down. So a one for one. Weapon cannot be recovered. They have to back away from this position as Paper X continues to flood forward. Paper X is also kind of stuck here, though, if they don't want to give up that rifle. Suppress only on to one, and Zekin with a headshot will take down something, delivering his first death, and that actually puts the spike out in a rough yeah, position. So Mind Freak pushing forward. Cutie trying to find a timing to lurk forward through that cyber cage. Managing to catch up. The flash timing is so damn good, but the follow up shots. Still, that alt's not quite there for Sentinels. Dangerously close to three critical ones. The Rolling Thunder, the Nightfall, as well as Zekin's Showstopper. And for that matter, John Cutie with the Neural Theft. But Jing, snatching up this beat orb, gets himself a Showstopper of his own. Interesting to note that Paper Rex threw the paint shells on B main entrance every round to break the trap wire. And the one round that John Cutie adjusts, they say, we back off. It wasn't there the last round. He didn't install it. A good awareness here from Jing. Getting the dizzy over the top. Spotting out the double blind. So they know the trade's set up, but it's all just in for, uh-oh. Oh, Ten's gonna get out, yes he can. Rocket a bit shallow. Good jump away as Jing. Probably not quite going to hit. Clears the close right corner. Answering paint shells will keep them at bay. 
not being fully committed to though here from the side of Sentinels. We still see Zelsis. Langarang is tens, comes up with two huge kills before getting taken down. Then Jing gets traded. 2v4. Monsters advantage here for Sentinels. Try to get themselves this first Last round win. Down. And now it's just Mind Freak left standing and he's been noted. They know exactly where he is. Ash, oh, it's such a shallow angle. Oh. Can, they can't yeah, reach the corner. He can't try to take it down. Instead, the buying. <laughs> We'll just finish him <laughs> off. He takes a bit of damage there for his trouble, but the I'm kill is well worth. Pretty sure that Thrash ate that extra bullet here to keep Devai alive. So, hey, it works out one way or another. Now Devai already watching for the other side. The stack, though. Everybody over on this A-Link side. Thrash about to be available. There it is. Gets sent in, but something's going to be taken down. Actually, the aftershot finds him. Jing pushing forward, able to find one. Yeah, but B's open. Gotcha. This is what Devai was setting up for. It's because they had the Omen ultimate. Unfortunately, Jin can't stay alive, though. Tense loves that box. Just continues to play on top of it. And this time, just find a kill. TP across. Bring a market. Devai, good for one. Backs cage away. Needed. Pops the cage. Both of them going to be just pulling back into B main. And they've got that camera to spot for them first. So just going for the 2v2. Trying to swing out from left and right. Cypher V Omen on both sides. Dart. Does go out, but no big connection. And they hear both. Now they know. He's not one holding on to this one. But John Cutie with the lurk forward finds the kill, leaving it now to Mind Freak. Another tap. Time dwindling. Spots one, swings, gets him. The stick coming through. Tense. He's gonna be holding this one, but Mind Freak narrowly gets the headshot to clutch it out. Tense. Nothing left to do there other than to try to just stick it. Seize does get found, but Jing finds Saucy. Catching him. There's no hope of escape. Boombot now going to be sent through. Wingman goes forward. Plant going to be coming down. John Cutie in the meantime just staying quiet. Hovering in the corner. Within this smoke. Just trying to wait for a timing. As Tens arrives on the scene. Yeah, just sheriffs. So not much to be done here from Sentinels. Ida Molly forces him out into the open. As does the paint shell. A deadly combination as Jing rushes forward. And gets himself a fourth. Now on for the ace. Zelsus, does he give it up here? He needs to die. It's a question of does he get found by Jing, who is very much on the hunt. Swinging around, spots one. Something does he give it up? He doesn't die, but Dubai <laughs> will take it for himself. <laughs> the movement is always impressive. The crispness of the shots, always impressive. Prowler out, quick clear onto that one. Zero point. Maybe getting a catch onto only Saucy. Otherwise, not much information going to be gained here from Paper X. Yeah, and Sentinels with a push out, something they haven't done here in mid. Second around the corner, and Tens in a very forward position in Courtyard, catching Dubai unawares. Yeah, there was no way Paper X could have expected that. It just hasn't happened at all in the past 10 rounds, so can't quite fault him. Just good heads up from Sentinels. Good adjustment. Backing away, sending out a smoke here. Spike does get brought around towards B. Answering smoke out from Tens, however, trying to dissuade them from pushing forward into that site. Yeah, I think you have to push here top mid because you've yeah. already given so much insight on B. Need that bubble control really to try to wrap around. Push through marking door shot. Likely to just be a dead set here. Now, Jing wasn't spotted. We'll see if they're aware. He's rushing forward now, though. Could have heard some of it. Tens, however, going to be good for one. Tries to clear out on that dizzy, but then gets taken down. Second. Still in market. Finds one. 30 seconds free. left. We'll find him. 2v3. Just advantage for the side of Paper X. 24 seconds now remaining. Spike needing to be planted. Jing, however, now finally striking. Catches Saucy. Swing around the back side. Mind Freak finds John Cutie. The spike can be planted. And Celsius is the last one standing. Oh, the time. It does push them off. He's oh, not planting. And Celsius. Very excellently done from Celsius. A chance now for Sentinels to potentially get a fourth round on the board. But that is a devastating way for things to kick off. Your smoke's now eliminated. Within Get the first 10 now. seconds, 10's gone. He's trying to push forward into B main. With a quick shot finds him. Oh, now John no. Cutie's position revealed the rush forward. Though he has him lined up, but he cannot get that second kill. It'll just be a one for one in that regard, but the advantage still held by Paper X. Yeah, seconds a little far out exactly sale. Molly towards Bulba. Your old theft going through. Celsius, oh, this time, no shenanigans coming nope. through. Jing, yep, okay, finally gets the kill. Took him a couple checks <laughs> to be able to get it done, but. 
Given that he was stunned up, there's just no reply possible for his health. Sassi on top of the box, gonna be able to find one mind freak. Gets him, then falls! Take one step towards running this one back into their favor. Oh, the stack's on board for Paper X. Zero point out from the top. As Dizzy goes up as well, nothing gonna be spotted over here towards A main. Yeah, but that gives so much time for Jing to set up here, and that's full A main control from Paper X. They're finally making sure they keep eyes on mid. Not a double angle, though. Okay, forsaken. Last bullet, able to stabilize. Gets that shot across, taking down second. Bit oh. of a rocky start here for the side of Sentinels. That entry power taken away from them. The map movement is very good for Paper X. They throw out the paranoia to make sure they buy time. Then they can refill the gaps here near Boba. You still have the Cypher Utility online on B. Just leave the Gecko to watch for A. I mean, this is this is good. Sentinels, I don't know if they're going to be aware that the entire team is already here on B site for Paper X. Quick check there at the top mid to see if there's anybody looking forward from the side of Sentinels at zero point. Doesn't find anything. Blindhammer goes across. I think it's going to be finding Saucy. Now Jing in the pick up there on John Cutie. Mike dead. Tens putting that recovered ghost to good use. Comes up with an elimination as Elsinus with the classic finds remaining. himself a third. Now we're into a 1v1. Something well aware of his position. Has the wingman, has the dizzy. Yeah, something just has to wait, right? You hear the spike plan, you can even throw out both of your utilities to make sure Zelsus can't react. Zelsus surely aware of this. He's playing forward. Running out of time, though. Zelsus going to have to try to commit to this one. Wraps around the backside of the pillar, taps it. Trying to see where the approach is going to be coming through. As he goes out, targets. does manage to get the blind. Spike Three seconds planted. remaining. There's that. Oh! And Zelsus! Between round one, round loss, but Sentinels, they pick up the W. And that's exactly what they need. Yeah, Vandal here for Zekin as well. Heavy investment. They want to be able to catch right back up. <laughs> Tens with the Guardian. Finding Jinx. Spam through just over the heads here. Up for Zekin. He's trying to push forward, but Tens. Give me a close range. Still going to be good for it. He can take the Sheriff if he wants. Busy will find one or trying to be snatched up here by something who wants to get that thrash online. But Sassy playing close by. Able to get the punish. Well, that about... Wraps up the round itself. It's just a matter of can Paper X do a bit more damage. Obviously, something eventually did get that ult orb on A main, so they got one piece of advantage. Looks like they're just going to make sure they stay doubled up, and at that point, probably try to die to the spike. Yeah. Nades in the corner. See if they can clear out any drop wires. Cam now going to be destroyed as well. Might be the buy. Likely to just get in a position where they can sacrifice to the spike. Not give any additional kills over because I mean, Zels is again getting that plant, getting that 4k in that first pistol round of the half. He's only two off. Exactly. That's having that rolling thunder. So. That's why he's going to push out. You have to. I mean, you only have the stinger anyway. He gets one and gets dies. One, rolling dies. thunder's online. And yep, for the bonus, he will have it. Mind Freak with two nice kills. Let's get a little bit of extra punish here. The larger weapons, though, still going to be very much held from the side of Sentinels, though. It's a retake. I mean, lots of options here. Yeah. I think that would definitely be the preferred strategy here for them if they can get that space. And right now, it is being given up. Paper X pulling very far back. Like Jinx wanting to recontest, but has to back away as the Rolling Thunder does go crashing across. Paint shells into the corner to try to disrupt him. John Cutie catches for sick and trying to rush out of the smoke. Freaks counter spraying back through. Will be able to equalize there. One for one going to be found. Now Mind Freak gone. Bring Sentinels back into an advantage as the spike gets planted here on A. Sentinels still pretty decent position. They can always wrap around back to elbow. Paper X just has too many angles to clear. And not enough members to do it. Something needs to land this opening shot. But this flash timing. Looks against him just a little bit there. Ends up falling down. Jing with one. We'll find Sasuke, but there's still so much work to be done. They know exactly where both players are from Paper X. So second, swinging around over the top mid. Trying to, or a link I should say, trying to get this catch, but then just backs away. Seems like they will just go their separate ways. Allow these two players to carry their weapons forward, but Sentinels not really going to be concerned about that one. They're more concerned about getting that sixth round. I love the idea from Sentinels to go for the hunt initially, though. This is their bonus, so if you can try to get a couple of those extra ult points, a little couple extra creds, and then shut down the economy for Paper X, wouldn't have been bad. By two charges. Cover going on. Only that from the shadows available at the moment here for Mind Freak. Oh, and that should open up the ult door for the Nightfall here as well for Sentinel. Saucy, if he picks that up, that's another free hit onto the A side. Paper X, they gotta be aware of the possibility. Decently split apart there. here. Something would have to rotate back through the link, though. Try to avoid it. 
you have the trap wires on site. I mean, I think you could try to hold some further angles, rely on the on the traps here. Oh. Going to be spotting. Cage trigger. Thing there for just a brief little moment. Mark it is. Mind freak should have been spotted there on that jiggle. Has to try to back away. TP up onto the top tens again, trying to go for the box play. Ends up falling. Something good for the kill, but second pushing forward into the smoke. Finds Mind Freak to trade it back. Man stun should have run across. Faces him up for just a little moment there. The pop flash out of the smoke. John Coon, Cutie Howard, camera swings it. back. Catches oh. Forsaken, but Defy gets him. Now it's all on Celsius, and this time. <laughs> It's like a glass bottle on top of the box, and you're not talking. Yeah. If, it, if he fits, he sits. Well, breaking the win streak here. Paper X get themselves to double digits, but as you were saying, economically, Simple still in a very strong spot overall. Thrash gonna be coming through. Flying it up and dives forward. It's not gonna be finding too much. We're thinking he needs quite a bit of damage to the box. Just wanted to get that fragment through, but doesn't really find them much space. Yeah, Sentinels can back off off of this. I mean, they took out the Paranoia and the Thrash. They scratched up Forsaken a ton. A lot of value earned, and you already have mid control from John Cutie. Cut across, Jing, catching Saucy there. Cutie oh is looking God. forward, sends up the Cyber Cage, Boombot. Hey. Not gonna be finding much, but the King Shell's actually getting clipped onto the corner there of the wall. Not gonna be bouncing where he wanted it. Either way, to lurk forward here. John Cutie getting himself situated in market. Trying to go for a backstab through Boba, potentially. One way. One way is set up, and Jing, even though the flash comes in, saw just enough attempts to be able to get that elimination first and foremost, and now John Cutie going to be spotted. Thing down, pushed on the corner, Dubai, ready for it, takes him down. Continues to swing out, continues to challenge, but this time, we'll pay the iron price, but so too will Zelsis, as there's just too many players waiting for him. It's all in second! Oh, and he gets three! Seconds left. Forsaken a world away! This is why and you do your aim training. HP, and yeah, second has brought this one back from the brink. 20 seconds remaining. Doesn't know where he's at. Bounces his way forward. Wraps around. Where does he decide to plant? Quick tap. He's planting in the open. If Forsaken swings the corner now, he will be able to spot him. Sees him and gets the headshot. Six health remaining for Forsaken. Second, the world on his shoulders, and he crumbles at the very last moment. Decent for Sentinels, given that they are split away from mid. No one playing over towards courtyard whatsoever. So if this is just going to be a rush to stop and play, which it is, he's not going to be able to find too much of anything. Just sends it widely. And then going wide. Chat says Rosa is second as well. Now rushing forward. Waiting for a target. Do they read the demise in the smoke? He pushes out. It's going to be a one for one trade. Sassy taken out. Showstopper does find its mark. All right, well, that kill buys enough time so they don't have to give up Boba on the side of Paper X. They're able to pitch back onto the site, and Zelsis, he's trying to create another opportunity as he's already flanking mid. A little bit of a, that late fragment, and only going to be chipped down to 77. John Cutie forced out into the open because of that molly, but still comes away with a kill on the something. Zelsis all the way up to Boba, going for the wild card play. Plays out here for them. Because right now, tens and second trying to hold down the front lines. They're so damn weak. Second going to be taken down now. Tens flushed out, and it's all on Celsius' shoulders, but Mind Freak will find him. And the timeout is not going to result in a round win. It's going to be Paper X now moving up to map point. Zelsus had a master plan, but Mind Freak was just one step ahead of him the entire. Oh, and the read is here again from Paper X. They are stacked to pinch on to an A push. Mind Freak guns them down. Two quick kills going to be found. Now sends out the paranoia to back away safely. And already, it seems like the round and the map should be done. Three players left. Zelsus in desperate need of his ultimate. Needs two kills for it. It's going to be John Cutie coming up huge. Something, however, answers back. Saucy Zelsus now on the ground. John Cutie, the last man standing. 1v1. Something wrapping back around through mid. Last player standing. His way up top. Forsaken will bleed out. And John Cutie, like 30% of his kills. <laughs> in just that one round right there. Just an enormous round from him, picking up four. Shadows traps him in this one. Prowler out, not finding too much of anything. Zekin, to be able to spot that one. Oh, he spots. Court of Jing there, but Jing able to find the elimination. A one for one so far. Something does get taken down. Jing now retreating back into Boba. Rolling Thunder pushing them away. Fragments out, flash on the corner. Dubai swinging, finds him, catching Saucy during the plant. Ten's gonna be taken down. John Cutie and Celsus, the last one standing. Guardian strafing, not gonna be able to find the shot. Nero Death reveals their position. John Cutie caught off guard. There's the cleanup coming through. Extended by an additional round, but then Paper X, they put their feet down. They say absolutely no more. We Ghosts, just gonna be that frenzy on Jing. 
Everybody else going to be having classics since it's a very heavy stack here in window. Celsus ready. Backside at B. Fault line prepped. First bit of information from Saucy on the Jiggle Peak. Likely will be sent, but that's going to be a headshot coming across there from something. They get forced back. A smoke going to be drawn out from Tens as well. As they start pushing their way up, there's a trap wire. Ends up getting cleared. Something now Dash available. Pushes his way forward here onto the side. Tens lurking within the side of the cage, but a little bit of damage there from that shock dart. He's not ready for something to push forward. And now he manages to find two. John Cutie lurking in the back. Finds one back. Cut! Ends up falling as Jing will be able to collect two with a frenzy. Second now. Everything to do. Pushing onto the corner, tries to get the catch, but Jing says no. Picks up three on the Reina here in the pistol round. And Sazi just died. Uh-oh. Oh boy. The dice have been rolled. Oh, there's the stack, the point line not gonna connect, and Jing will just mow them down for two. Everything retained here. Now we'll see how they fare. So far, just one kill found from Sentinels collectively. Yeah, that forces them onto the half armors as well, just so they can buy again after this round, should they lose their weapons. And that's not what you want to see against a potential Reina, right? That just gives him more opportunities to frag out. Jing only one point away from that Empress. Something very close to his Blade Storm as well. Placing Swarm Grenade. Swarm grenade okay, out. so the theory still lives on with the Killjoy, Why? the Nano Swarms being used to clear. It's not spot second. Oh. Yeah, that's more than you bargained for. Yeah, the Guardian putting it to good use, gets the headshot. John Cutie gonna be taken down as Jing, thinking better about pushing up into the window. Backs away, might get not quite spotted, but no, actually looks like Celsus did spot a frame out of order. Gets some decent damage across, and uh, Forsaken both gonna be low HP here on the site. Spike is now planted, in time working done. against Sentinels. Uh. Paranoia crashing across, counter one coming Huge. through here from Monyet, slows them up. Second still into a forward position, Tens once again up on top of a box, uh. as is his Natural positioning now. Celsus will be able to find something. Gets himself a second kill to buy. Eliminated. Swing onto the corner. Jing comes away with a kill. Takes it to Smith. Doesn't have the heal, but still a shot. The body shots on Asasi, finishing him off. Start up over the top. Something now with the attack operator in hand. Yeah, this might be a bit of an. Oh, oh, never mind. Take that back. Never doubt him. Yep, such a narrow little window to work with, but without armor, he's absolutely destroyed the wall bank. Celsus gone. Clear. Just clear that close cubby. Now they start to push up. Something continues to wait. Spot anybody who's trying to go for a forward position in sewer, but as we can see, in the second, he's got his eyes on it, but he's not looking to really try to take this space for himself. Yeah, Paper Rex, yeah, they weren't actually interested in piling through. They just wanted to force to rotate over, knowing that Sentinels is on an eco, knowing that they have to go for a stack. I don't know if you expect Forsaken to be this far up forward. Perfect accuracy. Snappy with it. Oh, and then they, they swing back to A. I mean, Paper Rex are kind of toying with their food here. Uh-oh, whoa. Looking for the kill. Okay, with the double swing out, John Kitty will be able to help finish the kill, and that gun can be recovered. No one there to watch for this one, but now the A site is going to be blown wide open. So that Vandal needs to be put to good use in second. Ideally, wants to find some form of value here before getting taken out, and then he's only got 20 HP. Damage to the smoke. Saucy as well now, whittle away at. That's the value I'm talking about. Second does manage to find once. At least picks up a kill. Giving his teammates an opportunity, but smoke dissipates. Saucy will fall to the option. Bold choice, but comes away with it. But unfortunately, not enough for Sentinels to find themselves around win quite just yet. So Sentinels, they don't want to be shaken up by, by early movement too much anymore. So they're going to hold on to that sewers control. However, that's both their initiators being held on there. So no slows, no info. Rest of the map. Tends with a little bit more of an off position. Back wall here at back site. It's not spotted by the approach. It also doesn't see how far forward they're pushing. Second with an off of his own, however, does find an opening kill. Jing pushing up into garage, taken out. Careful. I wonder if Paper Rex, you just try to creep in here after the smokes go off. Easy attack, the push forward. Not spotted. Okay, yep, big reveal there. Steel Paranoia inside. send out from Tens, catching on to multiple players. There's the reveal, the swing onto the corner. John Cutie, evil, you know, from the plan, Divide gonna be taken down. Now the spike, completely stranded. Forsaken, so return, spray fire, does find second, however. And he reads that there's gonna be someone in the corner, but he cannot get the kill on Tens. He'll be able to capitalize. Forsaken gone. Something. One enemy remaining. the push. Or the sure not. Or this one into their favor. Cam comes out, it doesn't see him. <laughs> Tries to tag him through the smoke, and does not. Push up, no! Shorty gets the kill, but he cannot survive. Tens up on top, mid-sight. 
Standing ahead. Still does have the knives, but given the cash. Now abundant it is here for Paper Rex. We'll just be carrying forward that Vandal and save the ult for a rainy day. Empress oh. online here for Jing. Decides to pop that. Utility at the ready here for Zelsus, but he may be overextending just a bit. He's already sitting quite wide. Thinks he might be popping off the smoke. He doesn't have the read necessarily that he's already that far forward, but now we'll just be forced to back off as the flood starts coming in. Jake swinging onto the corner, finds one, finds two. Zelsus taking down, goes for the heal once, trying to get overhealed. Tens will be able to find one before getting eliminated by that Nano Swarm for Forsaken. Something out of the fray, but it's all on second and John Cutie, and given that he has the operator trying to play for this retake, it's certainly impossible Spot now. Play. Second will just have to back away. Got to save that up, but you know, seeing the cred situation here for a couple members, I think Paper X are going to go for the hunt. Oh, they absolutely are. Monyet spotting. Oh, he's got to run. Dashes away. Next line of sight. How deep do they want to pursue? Jing already wrapping his way through the B site. And they get the catch. This would be absolutely huge for Paper X if they can find him. Forsaken making noise. So is Jing just trying to oh. disrupt him. Drops down into the corner. Jump and drop. Second, aware of it. Oh, Misses no. the John. Throws it the class that gets the headshot, but across the rest of the map. And we're seeing that once again for Sentinels. They go all in on a C defense for Cypher. The other thing is that lockdown can be good. You know, locking down a site, I should say. But only if they're really pushing into your site. Second with a very nice opening kill, however, will get rid of the buy. Caught on the cross. Second now, just trying to get himself out to safety. Will be able to do so, but Monyet, self-situated here in heaven. Do they read this? Yeah, but all this chaos has given so much room for Forsaken. He's sound and second has his eyes trained on heaven. Does find it. Like you say, Forsaken does buy himself a good amount of space. Swung around the back of Z-Sight. You can see if somebody's going to go lurking forward out of that position, but now he's got to be worried about that, that defender spawn as the double approach comes through. Flash turns from it. Now his, his eyes are trained. You have John no Cutie. Oh, no. There it is, the oh. one, two, punches! Jake does very much the same! Back over in a link! The patient play from Forsaken! Pulls the deal with a double of his own. And then they bring up the tempo, they know Sentinels are weak, even if the trap wires are here, they just don't care at all. They do not. Lockdown at the ready. It's a like plant relatively for free, just a full disconnect here. Sentinel unable to play forward, given the weaponry, but second knives out, does find one. Monyet now going to be taken down. Hunter's Fury opened up on the hunt here is Sasi, but not able to find any connections. The back away, the rolling thunder crashing across. The buy going to be caught by that one into the right corner. Now the defuse they haven't held to half. Swing back out, Celsius is gone. John Cutie going to be mowed down. Second needs to do so much work. That's just back into the cubby. Sasi will be able to find two. Knives expiring, Forsaken finding one, but the defuse is going to be held. He cannot stop it. Deploying Good for them to go ahead and finish that one out, but like you said, very costly. Fury would have loved to have some additional tags in there. Sasha doing his job, getting rid of the lockdown of the previous round. Divine out with one of his own. Oh, See, he decides to commit time. that one. Yeah, he knows, he knows. They'll never expect him to not be on top of the box. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> He's always had that eagerness. Oh, oh man, boy. the timings from each other as well. Just the game sense. See each other by just a moment. Forsaken. Nowhere to forward. run! Hunter's Fury opening up something. Taken down by second with the Operator. Jinx pushing forward. The Leer goes out and spots. Brief little bit there of Sasi, but cannot take him down. Ends up falling. Monyet pushing forward. Finds one. Apparently it goes across. Shock Dart up into heaven. Would have killed second if he could have gotten the connection. Have to play very safe. The neural theft does come through. Oh, tense. The TP in the back, but he takes the shots, and now Monyet aware of it. Oh my goodness. If Monyet can just stay alive, I mean, Devi should have an opportunity, but Devi just wants to hide himself all the way to the end. They're going to play for time. Just dinks him. They know that two players are going to be very weak. John Cutie, the only one with full HP at the moment. Now second, going to be finished off. Tense, up on top of the box. Oh Monyet finds the kill. John Cutie will not be able to get the transfer. Well, it just doesn't look pretty. People buying down to around 1,800 here on the side of Sentinels, but it's very disjointed. Two Sheriffs, Bulldog, a Vandal, and then a Classic. Tense, however, speaking to Sheriff, with a good use in second one. The forward push out, we'll find something. So this is a fantastic start here for the side of Sentinels. It's something that they desperately need. Swinging yep. around the back, second still on the hunt. 
Just on his own, though. Yeah, you taking can't get dead back over on the side. Jing pushing forward, winning. not ready for it. That leaves just Devai. Tens is low. Saucy, not far away. Push out. Ooh, snappy. Saw just enough of him. And now knows that there's going to be one playing over towards short side. Second on the jiggle peaks. Untouched by that. Oh, here comes the pinch. Devai just trying to isolate these 1v1s, but this is oh, <laughs> impossible. Yeah, just over the head of second. The full weaponry on both sides. Revealing area. Heavy presence over here towards A. Dark goes out. Something makes it across, but the gun barrel he is going to be spotted. Second now starting to push up. Sends out some spray and something swings right into it. Head going to be spotted. The dash back. Second finding another oh, sus with the covering fire. Down, takes out the Vi. Oh, now for second going to be gone. And suddenly it is just Jing forced out into the open. The Lear buys him some space, but as he swings back, avoiding the flashpoint. Huge round to win. Still the cash though way. going into this last round. Only going to be Devai who has a little bit weaker util here. Stinger in hand for him. Yeah, something has a blade storm, so I'm curious that they didn't go for that weapon swap, but it'll stick for now. And versus here. As is that from the shadows. Just the knives for Zekin, which is a good backup to the operator in case they start really encroaching on his position. Swing out. Oh, he's going to bounce. Whoa. Couldn't put the cloud burst down. Couldn't get out fast enough. Jing with a huge punish. Oh, and the ult all the way into spawn, just so you can cover both sides. Can't go for the flank as well. I mean, a site already somewhat cleared by Forsaken. Onyez looking away. He gets the catch on the one. TP up into the stairs, but he's getting encroached upon here from behind. Push out Forsaken, looking for tens. The off is in hand, and he's not going to be able to use it. yet now taken down, but he should have identified the location of the last two players, and he has. Uh, it's content. <laughs> I guess that's all we can say. <laughs> Now, Monyet, finally going to be the one anchoring over here at C. Doesn't actually block off the C long access, just sends the smoke so that he can rotate between back box, back site, and back plat. So it sends up another one. And wants to try to push forward. Forsaken now joining him here in the smoke, but the smoke's expended. No push up coming through as something got himself into window alongside Jing. Found a kill. Quick dash out. Far too low to try to swing that corner. Ends up backing away. But yet in the meantime, we'll find John Cutie outside a garage. Second, finish the job. Reyna's gonna be gone. Oh, the smoke's gonna back out. Paranoia at the ready as well. Blind spray through the smoke. But yet, quite a bit of damage Ooh. now. Ooh, yep, spotting each other. Smoke a little bit shallow. <laughs> Paranoia sent. So shots continue to fly. They're just trying to dissuade him from pushing forward towards this cubby. I mean, Magnet just has to try to chip them down or get one kill, and then it's up to Forsaken. Sure they sure be. Oh my god, he does. Okay, now gonna be stunned up. Saucy finds Forsaken. After shock through the wall, he's in center rough spot. Tries to swing back in to go aggressive, but Saucy says no. Picks up a second kill. Something with 22, but have to be. The ones have headshots coming in, but Saucy not gonna give him the time of day. Three kills found. And they plant away from Devai. Revealing area. As the dart bounces it off the top dealt with quickly cleared nothing bound cross angle being watched by Zekin over in garage nigh impossible but he's still trying to isolate all these fights oh, saw one in garage the swing comes through on the opposite side and Zekin will be able to finish him off the vibes trying to be heightened there CP across and yeah not even a chance in hell there with that sheriff forsaken quickly dealt with and that C site completely broken wide open Jing and Moniette going to be somewhat nearby, but something who's got you know, all the real firepower here for the team with that marshal in hand. Still has to rotate across. Guardian shots from second. Not going to get the connection he was looking for. Spot out some positioning here. Start. He's going to be tickling Saucy a bit. Doesn't get too much damage through. Got to hope these marshal hit. Everyone else has to draw aggro for him. Three shots not being found quite just yet, but with the dart alongside the Spectre spray to buy Moniette. Go into the meat grinder. You get absolutely minced. Now it's just jinging something. Left standing to see if they can do anything at all. Or even try to sacrifice over towards the spike. Swing onto the corner. The marshal, even with all of its accuracy, is just not lined up. Jing can't get the headshot. At least on A, right? Just try to get some A lobby control. So it looks like they're waiting for that battle here. Start to check over towards Sewer. Get some damage. And gets himself over to the brick stack. And Shadows even taking damage. Still comes up with a kill. Something dead nice and early. Major pickup here for the side of Sentinels is Forsaken lurking forward. 
The push, pushing in towards him. He's only going to be good for one. Spike down, Get attacker some, spawn. No, actually, no damage even going to be found there onto Celsus. Full HP for him as Mon yet uh -oh. on that jiggle peak. Going to be chipped away at down to 78. Paranoia sent out, flash into the back site. TPs over here on top of Platt. Now going to be relocating once again after taking down Zekin. Fantastic Cover, movement out. here. Tens as well in a forward position. Dart goes into the garage window area. Does not scout this spot. Device still wary of it though. Watches and Tens backs away. Oh, Tens is really smart here. He could have tried to greed for the kill, but he says, okay, well, if they're already rotating back through spawn, surely that leaves A site quite open. Makes the call for everyone to rotate over. Shadows traveling. Just gonna cover heaven just as an insurance plan, and now Tens in prime position. This could get ugly. 30 seconds left. Manning as the spike gets planted, A site. Known now by Paper Rex, but Tens on this lurk. Should have heard that jump. Now knife out. Divide again drawing the weapon. Does he read this close corner? Oh, he doesn't actually initially, but he reacts to the whipped shot from Tens off the bat. Now trying to hold down sewers. John Cutie will just hold down M1. Picks up two kills and Devai. It's the last man standing. Gets the read on his position, knowing that he's on the cam, but the damage is not gonna be that strong. As he tries to rush and swing around the front. See what they piece together. I mean, two sheriffs, two stingers here. You have to save up to the op at some point. That's the only thing that can help cover some of the weaknesses, in my oh, opinion. Forsaken. Getting himself tucked away. Oh, he jumped. Uh, I mean, Jason, this... he jumped. I don't think the dark. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the drone saw him. He's screwed. He's absolutely dead. The jump out. Tens will take him down. Something in the meantime, through <laughs> all of the counter spray, gets whittled away down to 23 HP. Magnets at 66. And uh, it was all going well until a little hop came through. Yeah, I mean, it's also it's also a fairly telling smoke. I mean, sure, you can try to still catch just one, but, you know, then the drone comes out, the hop comes out. Everything goes all the wrong ways here. Sentinels, I think, happy to just sit here and put pressure on Paper X just so they have to dissipate a bit, right? I mean, they're the ones that are starved for information right now. You know they haven't pushed all the way out of A-Main. You know that camera and... Tripwire is still available. Smoke again up on yet. Trying to play elusively here. The paranoia goes across by some, some space. Counter spam coming through. Sentinel still with just enough time to be able to rotate back across the map. Looks like that's going to be the call. So I see, I mean, Hunter's Fury could left. use that if they want to play for a just a disconnect coach plan. Given the man advantage in the weaponry, maybe it shouldn't need it. We have a chase here as well. The Leer coming out. That buys a lot of time. Now it's all in the buy. They have no idea. Patiently. Oh my god. None of them check for him. Wait for he the needs to nail the shots. Wait for the plant. Finds oh! one. Finds two. Oh, Can he get the third? The answer is going to be no. Hey, the buy has given them a fighting chance. But something. He's the only one left standing. It just has a classic in hand. He needs to get the kill. Does so. Sassi, however, full area. HP just about. The Hunter's Fury in hand. A shock dart would finish him off. Does he send it? No, he doesn't need to. He gets the shot. But Sassi, standing tall. They scrape by with the win, and now they tie us up at 8-8. Eight to eight. We're talking about the operator. Looks like something has been spotted. Did they note the gun in his hand is the question. They should have a good idea. Yeah, I mean, with the position he had at the very least. Oh, Jing. Dropping down out oh, of wow. window. Still somehow able to stabilize and finds tens. Don't take much damage or trouble either. Second to the entry. Up on top of B. Clears the space. They know that the site is open. Jing still holding forward. Waiting to see if somebody's going to come pushing forward. Lear onto the corner. Second is so damn close. He can see perfectly fine. He takes down Jing. Now we're equalized. Four to four. Spike bleeding planted over this alien side. But Mon yet arriving. Would be main. Pushing forward, finds the kill. Now. Sends out the smoke. Second, just around the corner in front of him, but something catches him from behind with the operator. Monyet arrives, swings in to find John Cutie. And suddenly, it's all on Saucy. He's not going to be able to find the kill. Takes the buy low, can't pick it up. So it looks like maybe some forward aggression coming through is Jing. Empress at the ready, not going to be popping it quite just yet. Some spam off the side. Does he see him? No, it looks like. Oh no, second, missed him. Second spotted him, but Jing had no idea. Monyet, however, is there for the counter swing. One for one exchange. Not allow for Sentinels to get anything for free. Cam check over at A long. Nothing going to be spotted. And so far, it's just device situated here on this site. But Forsaken's not far off. Yeah, and that Kyojo Util is still going to be able to buy enough time as well. And if there is ever a lopsided one-to-one -one trade in agents, it's going to be that Rainer for Jet. Sentinel's much weaker on the attack now. 
Once that drone goes off, I mean, you've still got the Silva watching main. Nano Swarm just to buy time. Standing ahead. With this Nano Swarm going off, I don't know. Oh, Tens was above. Okay. Yeah, Tens got up onto the box again. Enemy Read this one. Forsaken Enemy. ends up getting taken down. Swing out of the smoke. Paranoia greeting him. Oh. Yet trying to pull back away, but it's far too late. Spike planted. Tassi will take him down. It seems like we are going to be poised. Be tied up once again. Something with this operator. I mean, the buy needs to find two kills for you to realistically want to commit onto this retake. They want them to peek out so bad, and Sentinels just won't do it. Tens onto the corner, will get the timing there on the divide. He's not watching for it, and something just has to try to silently drift away. Operator, at least for the time being, will be held onto, but Sentinels will fire right back, not allowing for Paper X to separate themselves any further. Let's see if that hunt comes out. I mean, Cred's not looking at, you know, perfect here for Sentinels, so they're a little wary. Tens just trying to find the obvious spots. So quietly is going to be just fine. Does it have a delayed feed? Like, what is going on? But no, yeah. Zelsus is just popping off. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job, Zelsus. Come on. <laughs> Stealing everybody's jobs here. Kajing pushes forward. He gets around the recon. Isn't scouted, but second, he's all the way through the link. In the smoke, though, contained. Pushes out, still gets one yet in the head. Push forward, Jing now, taken down, second. Finding two kills, Forsaken stunned up here on the site, all on his lonesome. Here's the updraft, hits the catch on a one, backs away, wary about the swing around, runs out of bullets though, I believe, and Celsus claims the kill. Let's get knocked down, low on HP. On the spot there for a brief little moment on Sasi, but he gets away from the off shot. Second, stuck into the corner. One shock dart remaining, but it's not enough to get that kill. Swing, oh, the timing, man. just a bit off something. Not able to have the reaction time to be able to pick him off. In the meantime, you see Tens getting himself into position, pushing up One alongside the smoke and garage, but maybe it's not necessary because Saucy catches him around the back. It's honestly, we mentally, this could work out because they do have the lockdown, so A is what you would normally think that they would go for the retake. Lockdown's available, but so too is the Hunter's Fury here from Saucy. Multitude of vaults to work with here. TP out, Tens is going. Out the oh, safety, the but oh, the paranoia timing. It's caught by that one, and Ching gets taken down. Cover going Major out. punish here from Sentinels, just dissuading this early aggression from Paper Rags, just trying to get some off guard. Guardian in hand, Forsaken, full flash, puts some damage down onto Zekin. Pulls away, avoids that aftershock, but now everybody is pushing over in towards C, which for the time being is completely unoccupied. Swing in, Forsaken, taking out. some pot shots, fishing for a tag. Nothing found quite just yet. Plant coming down. Gets the headshot. John Cutie eliminated. Second once again getting tucked away in front of Platt. Second rushing forward. Tries to go for Zelsis. Getting split between the two players. Ends up coming up with nothing. Fault line now getting sent down. Second taking down something. Dubai finds the enemy breach. Still three players to go through, however. Dubai swings around the box. Finds one, but Tens arrives just in time. Catches him off guard. Now Mon yet. Nowhere to run. The latest W gaming initiate. To try to clutch this one out time, taking away the Hunter's Fury. Buying some time, he knows that he can eat at least the one charge. Gets it up the half, but with a shorty in hand, Tens will put him down. I didn't quite hear the back end of that one, but I still also work with. Now that Hunter's Fury is out of the way, so the lockdown can get some more value, but not if things start like that. Well, again, Monyet up on top of B site, managing to find two. You, you don't need to greet the site. You've got that lockdown, like you mentioned, Achilles. They don't have the Hunter's Fury on the other side. Oh, but Defy playing forward, caught out. Paranoia, let's get the catch, but... Not much being found other than some damage on the tents. We'll get whittled away yet. John Duty now just investing in that Neural Theft. TP from tens works his way over towards C. Identifying that he is perfectly safe in this position. We did see a note that there's going to be one forward to B. But Forsaken, he gets in front of it. TP out. He's trying to run away, but Tens does get caught. Lockdown now going to be invested. Trying to clear things out. Forsaken, a follow up headshot. Got Cutie dead, but Saucy snappy with it. Takes him down. The spike is not planted. It's still held in hand, but look at Monyet. He can hear this movement. I know exactly where Saucy's going to be going. He can relay that, but yeah, there it is. The rotate back across from Jing. Yeah, but these are just 1v1s. If Saucy gets this, it's fully isolated. Pushes out, he will be good for the headshot. All right, looks like Ten's gonna try to cause some chaos again. Get some A main control. Something going on a walkabout out into mid again. 
covering fire here from Monyet as well as Jing. John Cutie. Wow. Watching. I must wait a moment. We'll just have his cam cleared. Something's gonna get himself right up alongside window. Take flight. So he'll check over here towards a long with nothing going to be spotted. It's a very deep pullback here from Devai. Yeah, I don't know if Jing's gonna get here on time. So Paper X, they yeah, they have to decide if they're just gonna go for the retake or not. Devai has to be ready with an exit. You have to remember there's that okay. fault line potential. Well that tells them everything. The fault line does go through. I understand up there, but finally Devai able to exit, but this still it's going to have to be a full-blown fight on the retake. And having used the lockdown in the previous round, it's going to be very difficult for Paper X to try to break back through. Something around the backside, they have to clear a, a trap wire so they know that there's at least some presence on that flank. Something pushing and gets that headshot. What in the hell was that? Jing in the meantime, off screen, comes up with one of the tens. Now John Cutie going to be taken down, but second, still looks to anchor things. But yet pushing forward, finds one, gets some damage across here onto the enemy jet, and he'll be able to finish the job. The Paper X with the defuse for that next round, should they lose here. Even if they win it, then it's a bloody one. TP ports. Oh, an, oh my <laughs> god! Second! Instantly finds him on yet and tens! The aggressive TP up catches Jing over in sewer. What a start from Sentinels! But now, the push forward for second catches two of his own! The turn back around, second however finds himself another elimination as the Vi falls. Tens. Gets rid of an opposing killjoy. Oh, you have to save this something. I mean, you you, you don't have an answer. Surely. Yeah, in the next round, your teammates are all going to need buys. You, you have to save this. I mean, this was Sentinel just reading it through and through right after the timeout. Oh, hot damn. Sentinels now with that explosive round. They will take themselves up to match point. One more to go. Now, the question is, is do you use it on the entry or do you save it for the retake to really secure the map? Turn the flash. Cover up there on the cloud burst. Something waiting to see if the push forward comes in. Tens tucked in towards the cubby. Dash gonna be popped. Nothing spotted. Tens playing this one out patiently, and something knows that he's gotta drift back over towards the site side here of long to not get caught. I mean something has to consider so many angles here just to that shadow step. Another cyber, cyber cage. cage. It gets popped. He's playing on such a slim. Little line here, tries to go for the shot, but right Saucy there. just a bit faster, shuts him down. Now the Rolling Thunder, opening up the oh. buy, gets in front of it, but he's only going to be good for one. Saucy finds a second elimination, the Paranoia, slowing them up for a brief little moment here. Bounce on the Nano Swarm into the corner, but Saucy finds a third, Forsaken taken, taken down, Tens finds one yet, Jing, however, comes up with three, finds himself in a 1v1! Oh, Jing! Jing gets the 4K clutch! Has been having a hell of a performance here on that jet. Really at you. Down to having knives in hand. Dart up over the top. Dealt with. Second continuing forward. But a smoke not going to give him any line of sight. So can just get himself tucked away into that A long cubby. Drone from Dubai, drone. however, could flush him out. Yeah, you got to re clear this, right? This was one of the rounds he lost early last time. Oh, it doesn't check. They get drawn out by, by the saucy spam. Uh, ooh. That could be very costly, but for the time being, it looks like Paper Rex widely going to be straying away from the A site. Now, going to be okay. Tense, uh -oh. spotted, noted here. Flash comes across, push up Jing, knowing where two players are, but just can't quite get on top of either of them. Clear goes through, Tense now going to be finished off as Divide finds that kill. One spotted, Forsaken with a lurk forward, onto the B site, guns down two. Delsis and Saucy both going to be gone. Cam out from John Cuny, toggles over, gets that little reveal, but. A spray through the box, Jing mows him down, and suddenly it's all on second. Swings out, fights one, can't get the second. And Paper X will now take this to match point. We fixed our problem, we have to push out faster. <laughs> Something rushing forward, Monyet up on top, covering fire, flash just go through. Take Quick turn from that one. No one within the window, and everybody getting ready, just full seam ahead, push up through Seasight. Forsaken nearby, pushes up, gets himself through the smoke, another one greets him. There's the entry, second gets himself on top of the box here at side. Forsaken opens up, tens, taking down John Cutie. Quick reply, a one for one thus far. Second still playing forward. Jake spotting him for a moment. Oh, the what? jump shot, second takes him down. John Cutie gets another. It's just buying something now in a 2v4. The reveal onto one. Line of sight, not found. Push up, Saucy gets the headshot. And now it's on the Sultan, but there's a high low with Saucy on the side, and he cannot get that transfer. Gorgeous scenes, but either way, we are far from done, it would seem. And second again, pushing forward. Does he just open up? Yes, he does! Fights two before getting taken down. 
No additional damage on that spray through, but still already so much value found. Yeah, I mean, Paper Ranks not spotting him in that previous one. They're not able to check for that. I mean, your smoke's gone. You have to just creep in. You have to walk it in. All right, they'll at least use the Leer for that first bit of a duel. Oh, that from Saucy. Spike damage. planted. A little bit pound on, onto the Vi and something. Takes just as much oh, in response. But they have the sight. There's no deep flank coming through. No one rotating around through long or sewer. So we know that. Something trying to take a forward position. Gets a spot on the one, trying to exit. Pulls back. And luckily for him, no one goes on the pursuit. Throw, uh -oh. throw, but now he's too far forward. Something overcooking it would seem. Certainly overstaying. The push out, 10 swings in to buy. Taken down, and Jing cannot get it done. Sentinels will once again get match point in their pocket. 14 to 13. The assist got at the moment. Doesn't need to find the immense impact that we were seeing from him. As long as he's enabling for Zekin to do what he's doing right now. Nearly dropping a 30 bomb, swing up from something, gets a bit of damage across, but cannot find the kills. Once again, punished. Oh, and I love this. I love this hold from Sentinels. Grind it to a halt. I mean, again, you you know what the pattern has been for Paper X. Now, the, again, some of the weakness that we've see, seen from Sentinels is they'll wait for this until like the 40 second, 30 second mark. Then they get slowed down by a Nano Swarm. Then they have to run with no information. Monyet is still holding true on Seasight. Sakens pushing into tens. He's got a shorty around the corner. Are they actually just going to swing this one? Shots go wide. Oh, he no. swings around, draws out the weapon, Woo and tens gets the headshot. 18 HP, sends out the Paranoia, Forsaken again, gonna be tagged by this one, and second arrives, the Savior, to keep him alive! The Vi before he dies, managing to find two, but now it's just Mon yet rotating still back over to the A site, in a 1v3. They know his position, they see where the Paranoia comes from, and they can anticipate that it's gonna be the approach here, into heaven! Sassi will get the final shot in 15 to 13, Sentinels will explode out onto the stage here in South Korea! in our opening game of AVL with a win.